Well, my name is Rose Dew. I am the Director of Cerebrovascular Surgery here at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. Aneurysms are basically outpouchings. Uh, they're blister-like outpouchings on blood vessels in the brain. And the reason why we worry about them is that if the wall gets too thin or if the aneurysm gets too big, they can rupture and cause bleeding in the brain, which is very serious. The risk factors for um, having an aneurysm or rupturing an aneurysm come in two different categories. Uh, one would be things that are preventable or controllable, and the second are things that cannot. Of the controllable things, uh, smoking and high blood pressure are the most important. The, um, of the non-preventable things, these are things such as family history or genetics. In addition, there are many families who have um, there who have what we call familial aneurysms. And these aneurysms run in those families. Because of that, we think that many aneurysms have genetic risk factors, although we don't understand that very well yet. The smaller the aneurysm, the safer it is. So if you come in with a one to two millimeter, an millimeter aneurysm, we would basically not treat it because the risk of rupture would be extremely small. Now, as the size increases, the risk also increases, so that when you get to a very large aneurysm, what we term giant aneurysm, the risk can be as high as 10% a year. Other things that we look at would be the shape of the aneurysm. If the aneurysm has an, an irregular shape, for example, that increases the risk of rupture. And finally, there is the location of the aneurysm. Aneurysms in certain locations have a much higher risk than other locations. So when a patient uh, comes in and has an aneurysm, we look at all of these factors to determine how risky the aneurysm is and what the next course of treatment, um, what the next steps would be, be it observation or treatment. Aneurysms can be treated in two major ways. One is endovascular, meaning from inside the blood vessel, and the other way is surgery. Uh, endovascular means uh, for the most part, taking a catheter that goes up inside your, your blood vessel and putting something like a coil, which is um, wire-like material, th which is thinner than your hair, and stuffing the aneurysm full of that. This is called coiling of the aneurysm. Now, there are newer ways of treating uh, aneurysms from inside the blood vessels. Stenting, for example, sometimes are used to help uh, keep the coils in place. There are newer therapies called flow diverters, which are just like pipes that you put inside the uh, blood vessel to keep deflect blood away from the aneurysm. The second way and the traditional way of treating aneurysm is surgery, surgical clipping. Uh, in surgery, what we do is we take what's called a clip, which looks like a, a bobby pin that basically pinches off the neck of the aneurysm. Now, there are different things that we think about in deciding which is the best treatment for, for an aneurysm. So endovascular is considered minimally invasive. So in, in general, that is uh, what we prefer if it's safe for the aneurysm and the patient. However, be, depending on the anatomy of the aneurysm, the shape, uh, the surrounding vasculature, and other uh, issues with the patients and their medical problems, endovascular treatment is not necessarily the best treatment or the safest treatment. And for many patients, surgical clipping is actually the safest way to go. For aneurysms, a question that I often get is, what about my family members? Now, I mentioned earlier that there are some families where aneurysms run in the family. The um, official or the standard recommendation is that if you have two or more first degree relatives with the aneurysms, then you ought to get screened, and screening is done with an MRA or MR angiogram or CTA, which is a CT angiogram. Typically, the MRA is done. If you have a strong family history of aneurysms and you get screened and the screening is negative, meaning we don't find an aneurysm, then the recommendation is to get screened again in five to 10 years. And part of that is because aneurysm is kind of a wear and tear phenomenon. If you have a weak spot on your blood vessel and over time of blood pounding against a weak spot and aneurysm forms,